This is one of the worst coding questions that's ever given in Google interviews. So you and your friend are playing a game and there are n gems on the table. The person that removes the last gem from the table wins the game. Now you and your friend will alternate taking turns and you will start first. In each of the turns, the player is allowed to take one gem, two gem, or three gems. So give it a value and return true if you can win the game, assuming both players play optimally. Let's say there's only one gem, we can take the gem to win the game. Now let's say there are two gems, we can take both of the gems to win the game. And lastly, if there are three gems, we can take all the gems to win the game. Now if there are four gems, no matter what choice we pick, we will always lose. We have the following pattern. If a player starts at 1, 2, or 3, he will always win. And if a player starts at 4, he will always lose. We can now continue the pattern to 5, 6, and 7. We can always pick 1, 2, or 3 gems so your friend does not win. Now, if there are 8 gems, if we pick 1 gem, 2 gem, or 3 gems, your friend will always win. We can see that we will always lose with multiples of 4. We will win if n is not divisible by 4. Let's implement the function can win taking the input value n, return true if n is not divisible by 4. 